Happy New Year everyone! In this video we have put together a bunch of the highlights of the season. It has been an incredible year and we have put a compilation with over 35 kill shots. Some of them never made it to the channel. Let us know in the comments what was your favorite hunt and what type of content should we film in this new year. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon! We started the year hunting in Spain, where we wanted to try to explain and share the beauty of our traditional driven hunt, La Montería. Oh! A way of hunting full of passion, effort, excitement and respect that is often misunderstood by a lot of people. We moved then to Teruel in pursuit of Peseria Ibex. The plan was to join my wife Victoria as she persists on the challenge of harvesting a billy with her bow. We got a couple of good opportunities. But the task is still pending. Road deer female management is mandatory for a balanced population, and the best time to do so is early on the year, as females and youngsters are fully grown and independent. It is a great time also to introduce people into hunting, and show them what hunting is all about, where conservation of a species and harvesting clean meat is more important than anything else. I took a buddy of mine that used to be vegan to show him firsthand what we do, as well as some friends and, of course, my family. We also experienced something pretty unique as the three generations of Ampueros, my dad, Bruno and myself, hunted together for the first time. During the spring I jumped last minute on a trip of a lifetime where I joined three buddies of mine from the States on a backcountry black bear hunt. It was 10 tough days of hunting, even just out of what we could carry on our packs, where I did not only learn a lot about black bear hunting, but also came out with three new, really good friends. I have to admit that I'm in love with North American public land wilderness opportunities which I hope I can experience That's again good. pretty soon. Shut no. up, Pedro. <laughs> Back home, I received the visit of a couple of friends from Mexico that decided to come visit and spend a week hunting, discovering the Spanish hunting opportunities. Our first stop was in Greatest Mountain Range, where we experienced the toughest ibex hunt I have ever done in my home country. Then we moved to the Cantabrian Mountain Range, where we chased the smallest Samoa subspecies in the world. I really love hunting with like-minded hunters, as their success and their emotions fuel me, sometimes even more than if I was the hunter. Samoa must be one of my favorite animals to hunt. <laughs> Not only because how cool they are, but especially because of the terrain they live on. After this, it was time to get back on an airplane and also on a helicopter, and why not, on a hybrid vehicle too, 
to visit again the Zambesa Delta in Mozambique. Swamps, water, mud, flies, and the Black Death, hand by hand with my father. I can think of a better plan. <laughs> Exciting times as we double up on two really nice old bulls, which for me was my first ever Cape Buffalo. <laughs> I'm stoked. <laughs> I don't know which one why. Bow hunting dangerous game in Mozambique, it's currently forbidden, but Blame's game is not. So I was able to combine the buffalo hunt with some pure African sporting stock. A trip that definitely didn't come out as planned. I'm a destroyed man. Teaching me a lot of lessons that will make me a better bow hunter and giving me the perfect excuse to come back here in the near future. The Spanish spring season is very active, as we can hunt a wide variety of game. In particular for me, being raw deer and the wild boar, the most common ones. The roe deer reproduction cycle is way earlier than any other deer species, providing them antlers during the spring. Fernando's dog has been amazing. One of the most challenging but also entertaining animals to hunt with a bow that will surprise you on every single outing. Just made it to Greenland. Summer arrived and we traveled north, way north, to join the coolest hunting camp ever with some of the best hunters and individuals from all over the globe to hunt caribou with our bows for a week. Now I dance for my guides. That's so, so rad. An action packed trip with plenty of opportunities where we laughed more than ever, tell a few lies, release a bunch of arrows, learn to fly fish, and where we celebrated each other's successes like if they were our own. <gasps> That was awesome. Thanks. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you a lot, eh? It's no good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the most special thing about this trip was to be part of a group where everyone understood that the important thing wasn't to harvest a curry, <laughs> but to enjoy our time together beyond everything else. Look at the box. How about having Remy Warren as your personal decoy?
That was freaking amazing. Yeah, and then you bite it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. The spearfishing is another addiction of mine, although I don't get to find as much time as I would love to practice it. I'm still very new into it and I decided to travel to the Mediterranean Sea to join more experienced divers and try to learn new techniques and fishing territories. Another mandatory stop every summer is the rowback rut, which typically takes place at the end of July, early August. This past year I traveled to the Alps to do an alpine backpack hunt with a couple of friends. Rowback trophies here are small, but the terrain must be the most breathtaking place I have ever hunted this little deer on. To not only harvest a pack for myself, but to see Jack Sakes after leaving the camera behind and jumping on the gun to hunt a giant pack made this trip even more special. <laughs> Cheers. You guys are missing out so much. We then moved to lower grounds, also in France, in the Lance region, to hunt the peak of the rod with our bows by calling the deer in. By doing the sound of the female the right way and on the right time, you can fire the bucks really hard. Exactly what you want to see on a on an arrow. There are few things more exciting than calling Robux in and drawing the bow back as you see them running towards you. So a tradition here also in France. In the last meal. Merci, eh? Vamos. The fall arrived, and with that, probably the hardest project I have ever attempted. 
I traveled to Kyrgyzstan to chase Marco Polo Argali with my bow. Wide open country, high altitude, low animal density and a thousand other things were against us. But I have always believed that in this kind of adventures, the bow will push you farther and will allow you to discover way more important things than the harvest of an animal. Super proud of the 20 hunting days that we spent living in those mountains, pushing ourselves and the team every single day. A long story that deserves to be told the right way and that I cannot wait to share in the following months. Last year it wasn't easy to feed some days to chase red stacks, but I was able to spend a few days with my father in the mountains of Leon. We returned to the same place I hunted the previous year. The priority this time though was to find an old stack for my dad. No, no, you're no. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Then I grabbed my bow to try to redeem myself of the 10 days of hunting I did last season where I wasn't successful. A dream of mine was filled after waiting for over 10 hours for a short opportunity on a beautiful mountain stack. I have to admit that I'm not sure if I have ever worked this hard for any other animal in my life. So you see what I've been As the winter approached, we finished the year back again in Teruel, chasing Ibex during the peak of the run. But I've been a trip with a combination of some herb management and some trophy hunting with a group of friends made the perfect recipe for a really fun trip. Oh. Ah. I was like, why? <laughs> it's kind of weird. 
The trip was followed by the visit of another friend. We switched weapons and get back into bow hunting mode. Vamos, carajo. Carajo, eh. An intense few days where we hunted a few different species that Spain has to offer, being quite lucky getting some really close opportunities. Until our luck changed, and we experienced the unluckiest thing that I have ever witnessed in my hunting career. The mountains will always find a way to surprise us. And yeah, we just wanted to thank you all the support. It means the world to us, all those likes, comments and shares. And wish you nothing but the best in 2023. And see you guys soon. Good luck.